Hey everybody, so today I have a craft update for you guys, and this is duct tape now. All my craft updates are duct tape related. So, this one is craft update number one, so let's go! So, the first thing I have to show you guys is a scrapbook paper coin pouch, and this is the rainbow scrapbook paper. I don't know what this is called, it's just rainbow, and it's all clear shaped on the outside with a white border, and let me just get the glare on it. It's all clear shaped. There is a really big, like, velcro dot and then not velcro dot velcro strip thing and then the inside is just the paper but it's all color shaped with the expandable and the, there's no sticky in the expandables either so yeah there's that then next i have a accordion wallet and this accordion wallet is so bad this, this was my second ever wallet i ever made and it's really, really bad. Um, I'm actually pretty embarrassed to show you because now I've improved like so much. So it's just really bad. Um, it's clear shaped on the outside. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then there's just Velcro. Oh, and I actually filmed this video like two minutes ago. And then I was silly enough to delete it. And now I have to refilm it. So this is the Blue and Purple Leopards tape with the pink. And because it's just so bad, I didn't even bother clear taping the inside. The trims are like really, really weird and bad. So then there's the expandable section. They're like really bad. There's like so much fold over lines. And then there's the Ziploc coin pouch. And it's blue and purple leopards on the inside. And it is single Ziploc. Right now, I use double Ziploc now, but this is single Ziploc when I first started. It's just really bad. And I think I found a Simply Duck Designs tutorial. I'm not sure, but it's just really bad. So yeah. So yep, there's that. Then the last thing I have today is a multi-purpose wallet, and I already with that tutorial. I believe this is her invention, um, but I haven't pressed this wallet yet, so I just have to quickly show you, and then I have to press it. So there is a pink strap, and oh, and if you guys want to make this, I will link her channel down below. You can search up her channel. Um, I'll link her channel down below, and then you guys can search up the tutorial. So it opens with a velcro dot. And then there is no photo lines, and this is the Retro Owls tape, and I didn't even bother, like, lining it up. Because it took forever for me to line the other one up. So there's a strap, and it's not it's secured with a piece of strap, um, piece of tape. It's secured professionally. So there is no photo lines, and it is all clear taped on the outside. And there's a lot of air bubbles. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is so much air bubbles. So then on the inside, there is... Seven card pockets, you know, I'll just show you real quickly that they fit. The top one fits here, it does not show over. And the other one does fit as well, it doesn't show over. Then there's the ID with my Apple card in there, which is already in there. And then I have two bill folds, so there's one there and then the other one there. It's really big. Then there is the slot for your phone, and this fits an iPhone 5 iPhone 5s and iPhone 5c or any other phone similar to that size. Then here there is a Ziploc coin pouch and it's just like that. This is the Glad double Ziploc. I don't know if you guys can tell. And it's really big. And I broke it. Yeah. So yep. Um, for some reason I think this is really bad. So 